If you are wanting to trim down before Christmas, now's the perfect time to start. And with the right plan, you could lose eight kilos in eight weeks. Uh, don't look at me like that. Yeah, I was yes. looking generally. No, you are quite right, though. Clinical nutritionist Sarah DiLorenzo <laughs> is here to show us how. Get me started, Sarah. I need to do this. Uh, now's the time to take control of your health before we blow out at Christmas, is it? Absolutely. And the lifestyle tips that I recommend people do, because I look at weight loss as a complete approach. Approach. You've got to exercise four times a week. We lose fat through our breath. Make sure you're getting on top of stress and sleep. Black of those we two. We lose fat through our breath. Yes, it's not. Doesn't we don't lose it any other way. So it's through our breath. Oh. So exercise is great. Getting on top of stress and sleep really important. And those two will co compromise. Will lead to weight gain. Minimise alcohol. Uh, uh, ideally eradicate it. But make sure also that you oh. get a plan in place because the key to success is preparation. And when you're prepared, you don't fall off the wagon and make the wrong mm. food choice and then pack it all in. And so, get hungry. Yeah, so there's some lifestyle okay, ideas. This, let's start with breath rest because that looks delish. I know. So I'm a very big believer when you're doing weight loss to start your day with eggs. They've got protein in it to keep you full, the B vitamins to give you energy mm -hmm. as well. I've got greens in there, very low in calorie, very high in fibre. And I've done that in this omelette here. But my cute hack is I put some chilli on top and chilli's great for speeding up your metabolism and curbing oh. hunger pangs. Coffee's the same as well. So when you're doing weight loss and you're really struggling, if you have a bit of black coffee as well, it can help suppress appetite. Because at the end coffee. of the yeah, a bit of black coffee as well will work. So that's another one of my tricks. Cheese you in your omelette? No cheese in the omelette because the protein so <laughs> the protein's the white in the egg, and that's where we're looking at. Just keeping the portion cheese? control is okay. really cheese important. Cheese is protein, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like cheese is completely acceptable, but just one no, source of protein okay. within oh, the space of yeah. a meal. All right, lunch. So lunch here, as you can see, like I want. I still want weight loss to be nutrient dense. So I've got this mm -hmm. rainbow salad, lots of colours, vitamins and minerals and antioxidants as well. And then for, pro uh, for protein, it's got to be a palm sized portion. I love telling people to use your palm because we're all different shapes and sizes. So you can't say, you know, that's how much protein you should be having. Can I use his palm? <laughs> I've got, I've got small hands <laughs> on the sides, though. <laughs> Bigger than mine. So it sort of sits Anyhow. around 150 grams, but at the end of the day, there's no carbs in this program because I'm a very right. big believer in fat loss, not fat, fluid and muscle, which right. is why something like a beautiful chicken salad is perfect. Okay. Tuna as well? Tuna is great. Any protein, any right. protein. Okay. It's just, yeah, any kind of meat, but just keeping it at the size of and your lemon palm. juice and olive oil yeah, on as, the Yeah, as the salad. dressing, okay. yes, okay. yes. And dinner. So dinner, I've got two options here. I have done here some pork and I've done it with steamed vegetables. Vegetables. As you'll notice, they're kind of smaller, less colour than the lunch because there is, it's just more fibre and lower lower calorie in the greens. And then I've just done some fish. You'll, this is for you, Kosha. You'll love this yeah. one. It's a one tray bake. Oh. Just done some salmon with some in, in a one tray bake for 15 yeah. minutes for dinner as well. So that with a bit of dill. And the thing is, for me, weight loss just has to be delicious. So I'm always, put, as you'll notice, there's herbs and there's spices on food yeah. to really make it make the weight loss journey enjoyable because it's hard when you're when you're on that, you yep. know, I love, my, love the cauliflower. Now, what about snacks? Okay, so snacks here, definitely. I've got I'm a very big believer in snacking. Nuts, mid-morning or mid-afternoon, you've got the right. good fats and then they'll keep you full. And definitely a piece of fruit. I don't like removing fruit whatsoever from a weight loss program. Just one piece a day. Things like apples are great, uh, kiwis are wonderful, orange, pear, mandarin, they're my choices. Strawberries as well. And if you're really, really, really at night prowling around and struggling and really hungry at night, a little bit of yogurt would do the trick and as well remember to stay hydrated because we burn. So you can have yogurt? Yeah, just that's that, that's my in case of emergency backup oh, okay. so to save you from breaking the diet because people All will right. generally break their diet at night time. Okay. Water is really important because right. lots uh, yes, lots of water. So no well. bread, no pasta, no rice. Yes, no potato and no sweet potato either. Excellent. Okay. All right, it's a good start. Thank I'll let you. you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> you can find all the recipes at sunrise.com.au.